This is by far my most requested video, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really glad you're here, and I'm really honored that you guys are so interested in seeing more of my home. At first, I was kind of reluctant to do an apartment tour, simply because sharing every aspect of my home with the world on the internet feels a bit too personal for me. I know some YouTubers have no problem sharing their homes online, but for me, my home truly is my own personal sacred space. It's where I can relax and unwind and be myself 100%. At the same time, I do also want to honor your requests if I can, and I really do have some cool things that I really do want to show you. So I thought there's no law against doing a video like this my own way, where I can feel comfortable and still show you my minimalist home. So in this video, I want to show you eight minimalist decor ideas that I use in my apartment. And in the spirit of minimalism, these things are easy to create and they don't need anything expensive. I use them in my apartment to give it that clean minimalist aesthetic while adding some personal touches that make it feel like my own personal sacred space. And speaking of personal touches, here's a quote that I love. Your home should tell the story of who you are and be a collection of what you love. I love this quote because it can be easy to get caught up into that magazine look of a minimalist space and forget that it's okay to make it your own and to add things that maybe aren't the textbook minimalist design choices. Remember, if you love it, it'll work. That is the only rule. I love using and combining clean, soft, neutral colors in my home. From my furniture to my floors, from my drapes to the rug, everything feels soft and matching, and there is nothing that really stands out on its own. And the white walls make it feel more spacious and clean. This makes the room come together and feel connected, like one big, soft, warm space. It's an easy way to instantly give a room that simple, minimalist aesthetic. Picking one color scheme and sticking with it can be a great thing, so that as the eye glides across the room, it doesn't really catch on anything specific, but rather sees the whole room. If at all possible, I like to keep my floors clear. It's a really easy, simple trick to make your space feel more airy and spacious, and it makes vacuuming a lot easier. I love furniture that keeps the floor below it free and accessible. From my dresser to my couch and coffee table, I can still see and clean the floor beneath it. I also try to never place any boxes or any stuff whatsoever directly on the floor. One other thing that I love to do is to use the exact same wooden flooring in every room of my house. With exception to my bathroom and my toilet, the floor is exactly the same everywhere. This again helps everything come together and feel more spacious and it's quieter on the eyes. With all those soft neutral colors, plants are a great way to bring life and color into your home. And they're not only beautiful to look at, they are also therapeutic. People respond to the green colors of nature and I for one feel a lot more calm and at ease and happy when I'm surrounded by plants. And they can even purify the air in your home and make it healthier. So I like to fill up some of the space with different kinds of plants. Big plants, really big plants, small plants, really small plants. I love them all. And if you take good care of them, they will brighten up your home for a really long time. We Dutch people have a word that doesn't really translate into English, but it's really important to us. And the word is gezellig. And if I had to choose an English word for it, it would be cozy. It's also kind of similar to the Danish word hygge, which is really popular right now, but it means a lot more to us. We want our home to be warm, welcoming and comfortable. We want our home to be gezellig. We want it to have the same kind of feeling as when you're having coffee with a really close friend or when you're spending time with a pet. And we translate this feeling into our home decor with candles, soft rugs, cute tables, glass jars, tea, incense, anything gezellig is okay with us. One area in which I'm probably not a typical minimalist is home accessories. 
Being Dutch, we find accessories to be a very important part of our home because it makes it more gezellig. On the other hand, I also love clear and open spaces and I don't like it when the entire room feels crowded with accessories. So what I like to do is to mix some areas where I place accessories in a group with other areas with clear surfaces. The accessories themselves add color and personality to my home while still keeping that clean minimalist look by grouping them together and combining that with emptiness. I don't like random accessories, so they are often things that I bought on my travels or things that express my hobbies and personality. I have always loved music. It can touch my soul and instantly lift my mood no matter how I'm feeling. So I love to bring a little music into my home. I often sit at this piano playing a few pieces and even though I'm not really a concert pianist or anything like that, I really always feel happy there. And playing music is also a great way to practice mindfulness and being in the moment because you're not rushing toward the end but rather enjoying every note of the piece. Another way to express my personality and my preferences is by adding some Eastern influences to my home. I love how beautiful these statues are. I also love a few Eastern furniture pieces and artwork. And lastly, much like combining home accessories with empty spaces, I also love to combine wall decorations with clean white walls. The typical minimalist home may have all clear white walls, but I always like to add a few decorations in a few places. Some walls I leave empty, and some walls I decorate with a few pictures or artwork from things that I love in a group. This way the whole space doesn't seem crowded or cluttered with things hanging from the walls, but rather as one whole part. For example, I love the artwork by the Japanese artist Shio Enta. So during one of my trips to Japan, I picked up a few prints of his and framed them. And I always display a few pictures of my friends and my family that for privacy reasons I will not show in this video. Having these images around me inspires me and makes me happy to just chill out in my home. I hope you found these tips to be practical and beautiful as well. Of course there are only 8 ideas or concepts and I'm sure there are many more, so if you have some of your own, please share them in the comment section so we can all keep inspiring each other. Give the video a like if you liked it and of course subscribe if you're new here. And now that the apartment request is finished, let me ask you guys, what more requests do you have for me? Do you want more uh, simple videos, so about simple living, minimalist living? Do you want more happy videos about happiness and feeling good in your own skin and maybe being highly sensitive? Or do you want more Zen videos with guided meditations, mindfulness, etc.? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope to see you all again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.